Prince and Princess of Wales are set to eventually move into Windsor Castle as Adelaide Cottage was seen as a stopping point. Kate and Prince William moved to the four-bedroom house on the Windsor Castle estate this summer with plans to finally settle at the castle to fit the future king's needs, royal commentator Christina Garibaldi claimed. But the move is seen as a final swipe at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle who wanted a suite of apartments in the castle after they were married. The Queen instead gave them Frogmore Cottage close by. Speaking to Royal Eos, Ms Garibaldi said, it seems like William and Kate will live in Windsor Castle. According to the Royal Collection Trust, 40 monarchs have called Windsor Castle home since it was built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century. I think we figured they would eventually move into Windsor Castle since they recently made the move to Windsor and they are really putting down roots as a family there. Royal commentator Christine Ross added, I think there were a lot of conversations especially because Adelaide Cottage is so small. It's not really big enough for what a future king might theoretically need. There were definitely rumours and hints that Adelaide Cottage was a stopping point until they moved into Windsor Castle but I don't think they would ever do that until the Queen had passed which she now has. I don't think we'll see this move really quickly. I think their children have had such a tumultuous new school year, I do think the move is inevitable. The Queen's cousin Lady Elizabeth Anson told royal author Katie Nicholl why Frogmore Cottage was a big deal for the Sussexes. She said, the Queen's entrance into the gardens is right next to their cottage. It is essentially her backyard, her solitude, and her privacy. She was giving that up in gifting Harry and Meghan Frogmore Cottage. We all thought it was very big of her. She said, I hope they'll respect it. Meghan and Harry lived at Frogmore from April 2019 until they stepped down from royal duties in March 2020. It comes as the Duchess of Sussex has described the mourning period of the Queen's death as a complicated time, adding that she felt a deep gratitude to have been given the chance to get to know her. Meghan opened up about how she and the Duke of Sussex felt after the Queen died last month and outlined how they have processed her death as a family. Describing what the time had been like for them, she told Variety magazine, there's been such an outpouring of love and support. I'm really grateful that I was able to be with my husband to support him, especially during that time. What's so beautiful is to look at the legacy that his grandmother was able to leave on so many fronts. Certainly, in terms of female leadership, she is the most shining example of what that looks like. I feel deep gratitude to have been able to spend time with her and get to know her. It's been a complicated time, but my husband, ever the optimist, said, now she's reunited with her husband. She added, I've reflected on that first official engagement that I had with her, how special that felt. I feel fortunate. And I continue to be proud to have had a nice warmth with the matriarch of the family. The Sussexes have had a troubled relationship with their relatives in recent years, with Meghan stating in a recent interview with The Cut magazine that just by existing they were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy. Prince William cannot forgive his brother Prince Harry for Megxit as it prematurely placed Princess Kate and their children in the spotlight.